so students uh, in this module we will talk about why you are on the web what are you doing on the web what are the design concerns and how to promote your site why we are concerned about all of those things is because once you have your website operational it is public with it mistakes with the errors with the shortcomings and of course it would be betraying a lot of information which you may not have intended to be shared with others so you have to be careful about all of those things so let's look at the module coverage this is the module coverage i have already told you now let's go into more detail so internet of course it has millions and millions of users right it is a mass medium but at the same time it is personalized also because uh, the sequence in which you click on the links to reach to a certain page that is very personal that is very personalized it is it is not uh, it is not reproducible right and of course in the context of dynamic pages it is more difficult okay it is more for dynamic page then there is the diversity of about the visitors the visitors come from different background from different areas and why they are on your page is because they are there they share a common interest and remember one thing don't take it on your heart heavily that you have made such a beautiful such a powerful website but the people look at only a certain part of it because that's what they are interested in and those parts might be different for different people so every part is important and when the uh, there are visitors they, be they become uh, your customers also with different backgrounds and they bring value to your website also so what does your website says about you the website speaks for itself you may not be directly mentioning something right but the your colors your fonts what you are writing how you are writing the pictures and all those things which we have discussed in lot of details in the initial modules of this course all those matters and remember good manners matter and good manners result in good business remember that then is the perception a uh, uh, perception will betray the information about the concern depending so for example if your website or uh, you have a movie database right it it will reflect upon where that database links are displayed or what other links are displayed on your movie database if it's about the minorities if it's about some other uh, non profit organization maybe your movie database is concerned about all of them but having those links display or convey or generate a certain perception which may not be good for your business you have to be careful about it and don't assume that you have created a, a neutral environment okay don't assume that that is an incorrect assumption why because by the just the virtue of coming on the internet okay you are making a statement right you have already making a statement so design concerns these are more or less related to the devices for example uh, using a mobile phone versus an ipad how you use them how they are how do the function what is the size of the screen where are the breakpoints right and how your content should adjust to the screens how your content should be displayed while somebody is making a call okay or uh, watching a movie and doing something else and where does your content should fit in okay that is more than the layout then you have to be concerned about the dimensions of the device things which look good in a large 24 inch 21 inch screen how you make them compact how you fit them on a small screen and finally about the fancy fonts and other things fancy script that might work well on a desktop machine but it might slow a handheld device it might slow a pad ipad so you have to take all of these things into consideration then of course you are able to retain your visitors and convert your visitors into customers you have to consider all of those things 
yeah, you have to market your website also. We have spent lots and lots of time talking about uh, ser uh, search engine optimization and, and other things also. But remember that you should put links yourself at different places on the internet and the people should also put links about your site different places on the internet okay and you should also put your links on non-internet places also in magazines in books and other places also and follow the guidelines what is the guidelines get your own domain name and keep that domain name that is your identity or append your domain name with something which is fixed which does not changes right and of course one thing is more that your domain name should carry with the email which you are sending okay for example you at your company.com you at my company.com support at my company.com and so on so that's all i have for this module thank you very much